What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Graveyard Keeper where in our last episode we got a little freaked out because or I got a little freaked out should I say because I got the instructions for the key which I left down in the cellar but I did not get the key itself which I thought Snake gives you but uh, I did some research in between episodes and as it turns out you don't get the key from Snake you actually get the key from the astrologer which shows up on Moon Day. So we need to bring the astrologer a skull, which we have plenty of, and we will get the key from him. So we will definitely be taking care of that in this episode. It's about high time we get ourselves over there anyway, since we have not done that as of yet. Now, we do know that we need more nails. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of these on the go. We need those for building the scroll shelf uh, I would also like to get some flitch or some planks should I say uh, I think we only needed to I think so I believe the other thing we needed was simple iron parts which we're not gonna be able to get just yet until we get some more iron but we do have our iron on the go uh, so let's see what else did we want to accomplish today have our garden going I think what we're gonna do which we we are gonna need to head into town on moon day but I think we're gonna head into town today as well we're just gonna take all these burial certificates with us and go sell all of these straight away and see if we can't get ourselves some more seeds because we don't want to run out of carrots and we are actually not making a whole massive amount of carrots okay wait a minute Simple iron parts. Yeah, I don't know that that's gonna be enough. We're gonna have we'll 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 get to that. Let's go ahead and head into town real quick with all of these burial certificates. We will sell these right away to uh, Herodric, and then go purchase ourselves some seeds. Um, and we will purchase all of the seeds that we can, so that we can get our gardening going. Because we also have the quest. I see you, donkey, but we're going to be right with you. Uh, should I go put that body on the pallet? Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to go in here. I'm gonna sell all of this to you. Trade. Sell you all of these things. Get the nine gold from you. And immediately leave and we need to get straight down to the farmer and buy all of the seeds that we need so we can try and get back to that body before it decays past 90% because past 90% you get your first green skull and green skulls you can't do anything about there's nothing you can do or at least not that I'm aware of in the early game to get rid of why am I talking to you I don't need to talk to you there's nothing you can do to get rid of the green skulls. So, let's go ahead and buy all of you. We will buy all of the cabbage seeds. Ooh, that's a lot of cabbage seeds. Do we need 30 cabbage seeds? Uh, what do we have here? That's the beet seeds. We do want all of these carrot seeds. We want all the carrot seeds. Uh, wheat seeds. Yeah, I guess. Do we want all the cabbage? You know what? Fine. We will do it. We, we, oh, we won't do it. Um, <laughs> uh, We don't have enough money for that. Uh, what is the least important to us? I'm going to say the cabbage seeds are the least important to us. Um, let's bring this down to where we can actually afford it. There we go. There we go. All of our money spent. We are flat broke now. Just completely broke. Let's head on up. Thank you, donkey. And rush ourselves back over. And grab that body. And try and get it in the ground. If it's a good body, if not, we will burn it. 
without remorse. I mean, well, there might be some remorse. I mean, I would imagine that doing this sort of job takes a toll on a, on a person. Let's see. What kind of body are you? You are not a good body. But... Ooh, we can insert parts? That's interesting. I wonder how we do that. Now, uh, if I understand it correctly, these parts here, so maybe not the intestines, but the, the brain and the heart, specifically the heart, I think, has the potential to remove some red skulls. So we're going to attempt that right now. And if we can manage to remove some red skulls, we might still be able to clean this body up and make it a good body. And no, we did not. We completely destroyed it. So, we're going to take the flesh. Because we can turn that into stamped meat at some point. We're going to take the skin, because we use that for paper. And we are going to take the brain and the intestines, because we need to study those. Brains right there, and intestines. Okay. Take you off of that. Oh, nope. Well, let's bring you down here. And let's see about... Do we have... We do not. We need a whole lot more billet. And I think to get more billet, we're going to need more trees if, or more logs, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, we're going to need more logs. So let's chop down this tree. close enough that I'm not going to worry about it too much. Grab you and put you on there. Now, we need more nails. We need all the nails in life. And we are flat out of energy, so we're going to go to bed. Refreshed. Let's go ahead and get. I'm gonna do two more batches of nails. Um, no, just finish the batch you're doing. How many nails do we have now? Uh, we'll do one more batch of nails, and then one more batch of simple iron parts. that we're gonna do a couple of things first off you know what we'll do this kind of in a roundabout way we're gonna go down into our cellar and I know there's a body just hanging out rotting but we're just gonna burn it anyway so it's not that big a deal we are going to build ourselves no, not what I wanted that's what I wanted we're going to build a scroll shelf. So we have the simple arm parts, we have the nails. We're just going to build this straight away. And we are going to put this right there. And let's go ahead and hammer you out. Perfect. Now, we want to take these stories and this. Okay, well, we need to study these things anyway. So, we will drop those off in there. We're going to take that. Let's take instructions and the paper. And we are going to place all these things... I guess we can leave the hemp in there. We're going to place all these things in here. Just because it seems like a better spot for them. Now, we have all these seeds. We need to plant all of that, but... 
before we do that, we're going to head over and I hope we have everything we need. I think we do. We're going to head out and go to the uh, area where I believe the quarry is going to be, where we'll be able to get coal. Because coal is going to be very important for us to keep our furnace going. Head on up here and open this thing up. Hopefully, we have what we need, and we do. Clear the path. Uh, we don't have enough energy, though. We're definitely eating an apple and finishing this. There's no way we're leaving this. I absolutely refuse. Ugh! Are you serious? Did that really just happen? Uh, is there anything we can eat? There's absolutely nothing. We have nothing to eat. We are one, one hit shy of... Ugh! Well, that body's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. But I suppose we can go ahead and chuck it on the pallet. That'll at least prevent it from decomposing anymore. please stay right there while I go get some rest we are actually going to sleep at night for once that's a first I see that iron ingot I will get it in the morning all right Let's see. I think the next thing we should do, mostly just to get all of this junk out of our inventory, is to go plant these things. So we're going to grab this, grab these seeds, and let's see. We are going to make a few more garden bed spots. This whole section is going to be our carrot spot. So let's get that first. Because the carrots are what we need for Donkey to continue bringing us bodies. So it is important that we get a bunch of those on the go as soon as possible. Because we really want to keep the flow of those bodies going. This doesn't take a massive amount of energy to do. And there goes my dog running outside. Uh, no, I didn't want... Oh. I really wanted to fertilize first. We're going to fertilize all of these spots first. That one bit of carrots won't be fertilized, but that's fine. If that was even carrots I put down there. Was that carrots? I think it was carrots. I'm not even certain. It might not have been. It might have been hemp. It looks like carrots, though. I'm going to plant all this fertilizer. What did it? Double fertilize one spot? Well, that's kind of annoying. I think it used my fertilizer, too. Right, let's get... Is that carrots? Yes, carrots. 
all of the carrots all of the time all right I don't really know how I'm... what I'm a little bit confused at what it's doing honestly it's not really planting the carrots where I'm telling it to which is strange we don't have enough carrot seeds to plant anymore so we are going to come over here we're going to fertilize this piece of ground and do we need to fertilize? I don't know that we need to fertilize that one we're going to put our hemp there because we only have enough for one and then let's see let's go ahead and store the carrot seeds uh, right so we need two spots for cabbage two spots for beets and a bunch of spots for wheat so Let's go ahead and we will do two spots for that, two spots for that, and we will just make, let's see, 30 by 4 should be, that's the most we're going to be able to do. So. With that said, now we kind of wasted this a bit because we put the fertilizer here, but it's fine. We'll we'll reuse it at some point. So when we're planting more carrots, I'm not really too worried about it. If these things don't get completely fertilized, I'm not all that concerned. I think we need all of these things to bring for the quest for the merchant. So it's not 100% imperative to me that they are the highest... Uh, best of the best quality and in fact honestly I probably shouldn't even be fertilizing these ones for the donkey because I don't think he cares I really don't think he cares what carrots but eventually we'll, we'll probably have so much uh, crop waste that we'll we will have more peat than we know what to do with and we can just fertilize everything because it won't even matter but let's get we'll get all of the wheat going um, I guess, I guess we'll use the fertilizer on these last three spots. It's fine. We'll use this here. One second. Sorry about that. And let's see. What? What were we doing? Oh, we were planting wheat. Okay. Do we have? We do have enough carrot seeds to do one more. Why did it show that we didn't? That's interesting. Uh, we are out of peat though. So we can just go ahead and start planting these. So let's do the weeds. The wheat seeds. Down in our farm. get one more carrot on the go. This will be the cabbage seeds and this will be the beet seeds. There we go. All the planting is done. Let's go ahead and drop off the rest of these seeds. Uh, the carrots we will take straight over to uh, donkey and that's all of that okay let's go straight over the donkey with this so that we can actually get some more bodies there we go uh, we have to burn our two bodies down there so let's go ahead and or actually, I think we only have one body to burn. We have another body to take care of. So let's get... Uh, well, let's go check on that body. Let's see if that body is a good body or a bad one. And that way we will know whether we need two funeral pyres or just one. You are a bad body. But we could potentially fix you. Let's see what we can do. We take out your heart. Will you 
be a good body. No, you will not. Well, we could get you to a three. I don't suppose that that's the good I the best body to bury. I mean, we could. The potential was there. We could have gotten you to a three, but I'm not going to do that. We are going to take your skin and your flesh, though. Skin and your flesh. So now you should just be a bunch of parts floating around in a bag, honestly. And we will bring you down here where we need a boatload of billet. Boatload of billet. But we don't have... That will have to wait because we do need to get on over to the astrologer. Uh, no, not this day. Okay, so we are on this day. When it wraps back around, it will be moon day, and we will need to get over to the astrologer. And that is probably, once we do that and head back, that will probably be where we end this episode. It may be a little bit of a short one, but unfortunately, I have some other things that I need to take care of in the real world. So, that will be all we can do there. Let's get the billet going. Need all of this billet. You, you, and you. Perfect. Do we have any billet in here? We do. And take you as well. And let's go down and get these bodies burned. Let's go ahead. We're going to build two corpse burning places. And ugh, I always forget we have to we have to build these up first. I mean, they look good enough to me. Just throw them on the hay, light it on fire. It's fine. Nope. nope. Can you not? There we go. And we're going to get you going, get you going. There we are. Burning corpses. planted which is good we have is this yeah we are out of fuel again I guess we can do that with the little bit of energy we got left which seems like a crazy thing to do to track it all the way over there just to unlock that one area but we will unlock that one area and hopefully have enough energy to get a tiny bit of coal even if it's one small batch of coal it will be better than nothing Let's head on up, and we will finish clearing this area, and then we will have to get straight back down to the house to try and get a little bit of rest before we have to get up and trek it on over to the astrologer. There we go, and now let's head on up here and see what we have. So there's a ton of forest. And how far up does this go? It goes up quite a ways. There's a house over here. And a spot for us to might as well put this together. We're gonna build a stone stockpile and a stone cutter. Um, I mean, I suppose we could do that, but before we get that far, is there coal up here? So there's, is that stone or marble? It looks like marble. 
Uh, there is a... What are you? The mine is full of toxic gases. If only I could find someone who doesn't need to breathe. Okay, can we... We cannot do anything with that. Is there coal up here anywhere? Yes, there is. That is what we were looking for. I need a technology. What? Do I not have... Did I not unlock coal? Uh, where are you be under? I did not unlock coal. Uh, okay. Let's gather coal. And we can create the iron or stock the iron or stockpile now. But let's go ahead and get some of this. Actually, we are going to run out of energy before we get it, aren't we? Will we get it? Will we get it? Yes, we got one batch. Literally one batch. That's probably all we're going to get, but that's better than nothing. Let's head on. Can we can we do anything with that? Can we have this wheelbarrow? Please, can we take the wheelbarrow? Apparently we cannot. The fishing spot, there is a... Can we... Where does this take us to? I'm not even sure where this goes. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this tree. Tree is massive. Um, but... We are actually not going to get any sleep, I don't think. Because we are a long way from home. We're quite a long way from home, as a matter of fact. There's the waterfall. We may have to just grab the skull and trek it on over to the astrologer. We may not have time to mess around with this. That's okay. I suppose while we're in the house, we could grab a couple of berries or something in case we do need energy for anything. I don't think we need energy for anything. And my dog is running around behind me, making a bunch of noise. Let's go up here and grab a skull. One skull, and indeed, we will grab a few berries. Um, the berries we want two fifteen. Uh, well, yeah, I guess we will grab. Let's grab eight berries. We will just hold on to them for now. We're not going to eat them unless we absolutely need them, because we don't want to waste them. But I don't think we need energy for what we're doing. So we do have the skull though, right? I just want to double check, make sure, yes, we have the skull. Alright. Trekking it on over to the lighthouse, which is really far away. We probably should have brought... Actually, do we have those on us? We do. We can go ahead and sell these. Uh, Roderick, please buy these two barrel certificates. I did not bury these bodies, so I don't know why I get burial certificates, but I will accept them. I mean, I guess it's funeral taken care of, so you get a certificate. Whether that's buried a body or burning a body. Nope, nope, nope. This way. Down this path and over here. And we will finally talk to the astrologer. After all this time, not speaking with him, we will speak with him. Hello, good sir. Hi. Are you the astrologer? I used to be. Now I'm more of a lost soul in this dead end world. I'm the new graveyard keeper, and it seems I need your help. 
Everyone needs something except me. Knowledge brings only sadness, young man. You seem pretty happy. Your trivial needs are meaningless to me. So there's no way you can help me. Let me see, you're looking after the graveyard. Yes? Psst. Quiet. Hmm. Bring me a skull. It's pretty illegal, but who cares about that stupid inquisitor's law? The talking one? Jerry? He's kind of my friend. I don't think it would be appropriate. No, I just need a simple skull from any old dead body. Here you go, sir. Not terribly clean, but every bone in its place. Seems you have a talent for anatomy. The human body is so mysterious, perhaps even more than the sun and stars. I believe one day you'll learn much about the human body and the soul. And then you will find yourself absolutely lost. Now as we are now partners in crime, what is it you want from me, my curious friend? I need your help. Uh, I need ink and paper. Hmm, I have some. Actually, I have a lot of useful things. Some of it may be useful for a beginning scientist such as yourself. I can't stand those chumps at the university. I'd rather earn a little extra coin elsewhere. Alright, so we can buy that from him. I need to open the portal. Friend told me that you might know how to activate the portal on Witch Hill. I've never heard about it, maybe not exactly never, but at least not for many years. In another life, I had a friend. By the way, he was a graveyard keeper like you, and he was mad about this portal. He was so imaginative, he knew so much. Uh, was his name Jerry? <laughs> Actually, I don't know his name. We always used to call him by his nickname, Keeper. Uh, so what about the portal? I think I found a way to activate it. It may it was something magical, so I don't remember. But uh, it should be in his diary. Just before his disappearance, he gave me this key. It opens a metal gate in the church. In the northern part of the church cellar, somewhere in there is where he kept his most important notes. Aha! So, now we get the key. Why didn't you take these... Why didn't you take these notes? Well, I tried, but there's a secret to this key. I tried for months to figure out how it works. Maybe it's just in my mind and the key opens nothing. Anyway, you can take it. Try to learn how the key works at the study table in the church cellar. When you have his diary, bring it to me and I'll try to find out some information about the portal. Alright, what happened to him? Hmm, strokes the beard. He just disappeared, hasn't been seen or heard from since. I tried to find him, but nobody knew him. I even started thinking he was just a figment of my imagination. It was a hard time for me. Okay, so... We need ink. Paper we can make. We need ink, though. Um, do we need just ink? Pen and ink? We just need ink. Uh, let's just get... Buy the ink. Ooh. We don't have enough coins for it anyway. Ugh. I really want that book. But that'll be it for now. Okay. Off we go. Trekking it all the way back to our house. I will drop the ink off with the uh, poet prior to uh, heading back, just so that's taken care of. And then we will probably head off the bed, and I will call this an episode. Like I said, it may be a little short. I'm not sure how long we've been going here, because I had to stop the recording once and, and 
answer a call, but um, if it is a long one, great. If it's not, I'm sorry, but I am flat out of time. Great, ink is the blood of poetry. Hmm, that sounds good. I should write that down. All right, so he needs tin paper. We'll have to get that for him. Uh, but that'll be it for right now. And let's head on back. So probably by the time we get back, it'll be nighttime anyway, so it'll be a perfect time to sleep. And then when we start the next episode, we will be on... Uh, donkey. Donkey. Seriously. Why do you do these things to me, donkey? Why? Oh, why? I am not prepared for you. I'm flat out not. And you're walking so dang slow. Uh, well, I guess we will wait for Donkey. No point not waiting for Donkey. Um, although we don't have enough energy to do much of anything else. So let's go down here and we can actually see the body come down the chute. Now what else can we make here? Uh, just a pallet and a preparation plate. We could get another pallet. Which might not be too awful of an idea. It will give us an additional body, but I don't know that we can handle an additional body right now. Honestly. We are completely zonked most days of energy, and having another body to worry about would prove difficult. We need another wood beam for that. There we go. Body. On to the pallet. Are you a good body? You are not a good body. So, it's fine. You can just sit there and rot. I am not concerned at the moment. At the moment, I am concerned about sleeps. We need loads of sleeps. Uh, but before we do that, we have coal to put in you. Two batches, matter of fact. There we go. And that should be enough, I think, to... Will that get all of this on the go? No, it won't get everything, but it'll get 11 more iron ingots going, so that's good. Right, straight off the bed, and that will be the end of this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and will be joining me for the next one. Uh, as always, leave a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, and leave a comment if you so choose, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.